In this video, um, I'm gonna show you how to scrape Zillow.com for property data in 10 minutes. Right, so let's talk about Zillow for a sec. If you're in real estate, you probably know it already, but for those who don't, it's this massive database of property info in the US. We're talking listings, home values, market trends, everything. It's, it's pretty much the go-to place for anything property related. Now, why would you wanna scrape all this data? Well, think about it, that you could track how property prices are changing, get a feel for what's happening in different markets, maybe spot some great investment opportunities. If you're in the real estate business, this kind of info is gold. But here's the thing, scraping Zillow is a real pain. You'd have to deal with all sorts of technical headaches. That's where Task AGI comes in. It's this awesome tool that makes the whole process super simple. Let me break it down for you with Task AGI. You don't have to worry about any of the complex stuff like setting up proxies, handling JavaScript, or dealing with those annoying anti-bot systems. It takes care of all that for you. All you need to do is tell it what data you want and boom, you get it. Simple as that. All right, so how do we get started? First things first, head over to taskagi.net and create an account. Once you're in, look for the Zillow scraper in the list of tools. Click on that and you're ready to roll. Now let's talk about setting up your API key. In your dashboard, you'll see an option to create one. Here's a pro tip. When you get that key, save it somewhere safe. You only see it once, so if you lose it, you'll need to create a new one. No biggie if you do, but it's just easier to keep track of it. Okay, now for the fun part, actually using this thing, I'm gonna show you how to do it using Postman, but you can use any API testing tool you like. First, open up Postman and create a new request. Next, we need to set up the headers. Add content type as application JSON, and then Authorization is a bearer followed by your API key. Now, in the body of the request, we're gonna tell it what data we want. Let's say we're looking to get all the details of this property, simply put it in the body. Once you've got all that set up, hit send and watch the magic happen. Depending on what you're asking for, you might get results back in seconds, or it could take a few minutes for more complex requests. Some of the things you can get from Zillow with this tool include property details such as address, status, price, detailed description, price history, photos, nearby houses, and even the latest market trends. It's a, a real game changer for anyone who needs property data quickly and efficiently. Now, if you're more comfortable with Rapid API, we've got you covered there too. Just search for Zillow Scraper on Rapid and find the one created by Task AGI. The link is also available in the description. Once you've found it, go ahead and subscribe to Free Plan. That'll give you a few credits for testing at no cost. Now, once you're back to the playground, simply click on Test Endpoint button. You can change the parameters, but they're already set for you, so you don't have to worry about that. Before we wrap up, I wanna mention that we also do custom scraping solutions. If you've got specific needs that aren't covered by our standard tools, we can work with you to build something tailored to your requirements. Our platform is powered by over two terabytes of CPU and designed to handle large volumes at scale. So if you're looking to scrape a lot of data, use the link in the description to reach out to us.